Hello, you're watching Impact on BBC World News. The Women's Tennis Association, the WTA, has spoken of its deep concern regarding the Chinese player Peng Shui after she publicly accused the country's former vice premier of sexual assault in a post on Chinese social media, she uh, cite Weibo, she, uh, a former number one doubles player, said that she was forced into a sexual relationship with Zhang Gao Li. The post was immediately deleted. Uh, Peng acknowledged she wouldn't be able to provide any proof, though, while Zhang has not responded at all to her claims. In a statement on Sunday, WTA chairman and CEO Steve Simon said that Peng Shui uh, and all women deserve to be heard, not censored. Her accusation about the conduct of a former Chinese leader involving a sexual assault must be treated with the utmost seriousness. He went on to say, uh, we expect this issue to be handled properly, meaning the allegations must be investigated fully, fairly, transparently and without censorship. Well, her allegations have been scrubbed from the Chinese internet and she hasn't been heard from uh, since they were taken down. Let's speak to our China media analyst, Kerry Allen. Kerry, uh, well, first of all, concerns about her whereabouts, but also the idea of censorship and how quickly these posts came down. How serious is this? Well, yes, this original post was reportedly, it was taken down within 20 minutes. And it's still very evident today that Sina Weibo, which is China's version of, say, Facebook or Twitter, is still treating a lot of sensitivity around this issue. So if you search Peng Shui on Weibo, you don't get any results that are more than two months old. And you can't even comment on historic posts or see, see historic comments on posts about her. Now, there's so much sensitivity about this that literally people aren't even aware that it really exists. You don't see state media reporting on this. And on social media, there's such a tight clampdown that people can't talk about it or see posts about it. Uh, and yet the Me Too movement had been covered and followed quite widely in China, hadn't it, in other cases, but perhaps not just, uh, just not involving a vice premier. No, absolutely, no. I mean, this is, this is a hugely sensational claim. And it's, it, you don't see any criticism from anybody about China's top leadership ever on social media. So um, people like Zhang Gaoli, their um, posts that mention him, are, they, they're normally taken down straight away. Um, but also, yeah, the Me Too movement as well. There have been criticisms in the past that people aren't able to openly talk about it in China. So, for example, what some people do instead is rather than type out the words Me Too because they think that they're going to be censored, they'll use characters that sound like me and too. So uh, the word for rice in China sounds like me and the word for rabbit <laughs> sounds like too. So people have called it the rice bunny movement. Oh, right, OK. But, but how, how, how common are uh, allegations of sexual harassment or worse uh, made against politicians and, and how often does it actually come out into the public domain? They're extremely rare. I mean, something like this with someone so high profile. I mean, the fact that she has more than half a million followers on Sina Weibo anyway meant that a lot of people saw this very quickly i mean even though it was taken down so swiftly there was still that there was still evidence that thousands of people saw this before this post was removed um, but yeah the idea that um, an official um, would be accused of sexual assault or, or just in general uh, accused of anything uh, is, is very much unheard of in china so yeah there is still a lot of sensitivity around this and if you try to search either Zhang Gaoli or Peng Shui, you, you don't see, I mean, you know, internationally, you might see millions of results. But on Chinese platforms like Weibo, you'll only see hundreds because there's that much censorship. Zhang, uh, Zhang Gaoli is now retired from political life. Yes, he is. Yeah, since 2018, I believe. And um, yeah, officials in China, they don't have presences on social media. So, so internationally, you might have politicians who have platforms on Twitter or Facebook. But yeah, if he wanted to make a comment, it's, it's unclear where it would be, because he doesn't have a presence online. And traditionally, what would happen is there will be a comment through official media. And as we've seen for the last two weeks, there's been nothing from outlets like People's Daily or CCTV. All right, Kerry, with a, an update on that. Thank you very much indeed.